Hello, I'm Doug, and this is the Taste and Sensibility channel. Thank you for watching, and if you're not watching, you should be, because we're going to dive into day 12 of this World Whiskey Advent Calendar. And I'm a Christian, so I really am celebrating the Advent of Christ. So it's not just a gimmick or a, a kid's thing or activity. But today we're looking at day 12. Oh wow, that makes makes it halfway done. Wow. Mm. Sturdy cardboard to protect these little chambers from early misuse. I am doing a blind tasting of this whiskey from somewhere in the world. I'm going to pour it into this glass without seeing what the label says. And then I will nose it and taste it and give you my thoughts about what it might be. Yeah. So I'll put it over there so I can't see. The focus of the channel isn't really whiskey necessarily. It's about interesting things to taste, smell, and experience. So I'm expecting to do black licorice and varietal honeys and all sorts of different things. But in December, these advent calendars give us an opportunity to try several different whiskeys. And it's always interesting. So I'm going to see what I can pick up on the nose here on this one. It's got an interesting color, a little bit darker than the lightest ones I see. Okay. That's interesting. It's malty. There's a little something extra. Wine finish. Something a little extra in the cask, maybe. It's a little tart, a little sour. The malt is not strong. And the ABV is not strong on the nose. So I'll try to pick up a couple more things and then go in for tasting. Not a lot of clues from the nose. Faint malt. Something a little sour, a little funky, a little old, old dusty, older, dirt. Soil, moss, a little bit of apple and pear. A little tartness. I don't know if I'd go as far as lemongrass. But it's, I think it's going to be interesting. So we'll get into it and see. Taste. Wow. Wow. I'm picking up some new oak. New oak finish on a malt, but the taste is pretty hefty on ABV. It's 45 or 50%. Getting some corn notes, bourbony notes. I'll have to sort this one out. I have not had that many bourbons in this set. It's been almost all single malts, a couple of blends, an Irish, a couple of ryes, which really shocked me. So they didn't fit my normal profile of what I think about for ryes. So I think I'm going to get another shock here. This is going to do it. But Something bourbony and new oak involved in that maturation. We'll just let it settle and sink in and see if I can get anything else. I'm 
Gotta remember to leave a little to add water to. So I want to see if that what that changes. Yeah, I'm still thinking the ABV is above 45% and maybe maybe above 50. It's carrying lots of flavors, but they're pretty well balanced and integrated. Thinking of some kind of four grain mashup corn, wheat, rye, malted barley, regular barley. It's I'm getting notes of all those things. I've had a couple of four grain whiskeys from the US. One may have even been called a bourbon. But they're complex and a little different than most Kentucky bourbons. I think I'm getting the, the new oak notes. Vanilla. A little hint of cherry. This is good and uh, way over half of, half of it's very familiar. But I'll probably be wrong. I might get a little more adding some water. Let's find out. Hmm. Pear, kiwi, pickles, which kind of suggests dill. I don't know if that's a big change or a little change on the nose. The palate really tamed down. It tamped down lots of the high points. Squashed them, flattened it out. Still plenty of new oak, plenty of corn sweetness. Plenty of the other grains that are in there. So I guess I'm going out on a limb and saying some sort of American whiskey with several different grains in it. Yeah, I can't uh, pick up anything that would contradict that. So I'm going to be reaching for this bottle and label and looking at what it says. No, 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 no. Langston, spelled with a U in at the end. Langston, five year old, batch one, single malt, Swiss whiskey, 49.4%. So I picked up that ABV. Single malt. I was telling you about corn, wheat, rye all those things and new oak and i have no idea what they use for cask so here's more internet research to do some people do it before some people do it after some people just have red faces so this one is good i like it i said american 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 and there you go single malt from switzerland So isn't that interesting? So if you like what you're seeing, and even if you don't, go ahead and click the thumbs up down there, like this video, and subscribe to the channel. Comment down below if you have any knowledge of this or like it or know anything about it. So I'm going to have to do some research. That's all for now.